No, spring is officially here and with that comes all the sneezing and sniffling we experience thanks to seasonal allergies. Some people can really be miserable this time of year. Madeline Watkins joins us now live with how sufferers can keep those symptoms to a minimum. Madeline. Yeah, Mel, so the CDC reports that more than 24 million people here in the U.S. experience pollen-related symptoms, which is usually what we experience this time of year. Like you said, those sneezing and sniffles that we get. But luckily, there are some things that you can do to keep those symptoms a little bit under control. Watery or itchy eyes, a runny nose, sneezing, it all comes with the start of spring, when trees begin to get their leaves back and the flowers bloom. If you're an allergy sufferer, Dr. Kathy Cantor with Mercy Health says then odds are you know there's medication out there to help it. For those, um, generally they take the over-the-counter antihistamines um, or nasal sprays. Also avoid any known allergens for you. Dr. Jennifer Yonkoff with ProMedica says there are things you can try if medicine doesn't do the trick. If trees trigger your symptoms, try closing your windows to keep pollen out of your home or you can use air purifiers. And if you spent most of the day outside and trying to take showers at night so that way you're cleaning off all of the pollens and not bringing them into bed with you. But how do you know if it's allergies and not just a common cold? Dr. Yonkoff tells me with allergies, you've probably suffered with it for many years, so it's more of a routine for you by now. With a cold, you will oftentimes have a fever. And then the response to some of those other allergy medications like antihistamine pills can also help you to figure that out. Allergy season usually starts around St. Patrick's Day, but medical experts say we could start to experience it earlier and earlier thanks to climate change. We have certainly seen allergy season starting sooner and lasting longer with the increases in temperature and aridity that we've experienced. But with the climate change, it started to get pushed back each year and closer to Valentine's Day. And so that could continue to get pushed back to sooner and sooner as climate change evolves. And another thing that you can do is keep track of the pollen count in your area that can help you tell which days have the highest and lowest amounts of pollen in your area. Live in South Toledo, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.